Thank you, SSBC, and Martin San Matthew Turumoy, Rapatua of the Committee of Reconciliation for Greater Paranza. We just came out of a consultative meeting with the Apu community in Juba, Apu community leaders comprising MPs, former intellectuals, elders, youth and women. The purpose of our consultation is to obtain the views of community leaders and all the members of our poor community representative in this meeting about the grievances that might have caused some break in Greater Baraza, which the committee is mandated to resolve through dialogue, reconciliation, and healing. We had a very fruitful meeting with the community leaders. We recorded everything and we continue to engage with other community leaders. Just for your information, we have already met other communities from Greater Baraza here in Juba. The purpose being, after meeting community leaders, then we'll travel on the ground where we can conduct further consultations and conduct the dialogue reconciliation and healing. We will not be divulging information on what we have had because the consultations are meant to be uh, confidential at the, at the moment, but I think you'll be able to get the details when we start a dialogue conference in Baraza. Thank you very much. I'm uh, Professor John Abdul Akej. I'm the chairman of Pu Community in Juba. Uh, we want to express our thanks to the Peace and Reconciliation Committee formed by His Excellency the President of the Republic, Salfa Kim, with the chairmanship of the Korea Guy Kok and many eminent members of society, former governor, governors, members, former men, members of parliament, uh, who have been a mission to reconcile the Pooh community and Marialwa community uh, over the conflict that has been going on for the last 11 months over uh, border towns. And they were uh, able to meet with us over 30 uh, people representing uh, leaders of different sections, members of the parliament, uh, former administrators, commissioners, uh, elders, uh, intellectuals, women, youth, uh, a wide spectrum of members. Uh, we met from nine and to five, and it's been um, they have been the committee has been very patient listening to us and they have, we have addressed the root causes, the grievances that we have, and the impact of the conflict, um, and also about the solutions that are possible and the way forward. Uh, some of the things that have been recommended by the members has been immediate need to, for peaceful movement of goods and um, In the community's access to services in WOW uh, and access to commercial and uh, educational and uh, freedom for movement for all the people and also restoration of administration. Uh, the civil administration in the areas uh, of uh, that have been conflict and allow everybody who was in the areas conflict to move irrespective of which community uh, they have come from, whether going back to the contested area but also allowing community to also settle in WOW without being pestered or anything. So this is recommendation, but uh, the root causes have all been explained and also some of the solutions uh, have been. So we are very grateful to His Excellency, the President of the Republic, uh, for forming this committee 
that will bring our communities together uh, to peaceful coexistence and to uh, security and to prosperity and to law and order. We thank also the leadership of the committee for their patience, for their wisdom, and for uh, uh, listening patiently to all the recommendations and the grievances that the community, a poor community raised. So thank you so much.